What's up YouTube, King Finley here. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a like on the video. Today, I got a great jump shot for you guys if you're on a 6 9 ISO build, okay? For this jump shot, you will be going LaMelo Ball, Oscar Robinson, Darius Baisley, okay? You'll go 92% towards Oscar Robinson, 8% towards Darius Baisley. This shot is good for the 6 9 ISO build, okay? I'm going to show you guys me actually trying, this, trying it out inside of the mascot. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I told you guys that the Rocket mascot is probably the best mascot on the game. That is no cap. So if you are trying to get a mascot and you're not really sure what mascot to get, go ahead and get the Rocket's mascot. You'll thank me later, okay? I'm going to show you guys me using this shot in the Gatorade Court for a little bit, and then we're going to get into the park. And I'm going to show you how I was going crazy with it. I believe you in the park, I, was, I made like seven threes or something in both game plays. Hey, let's get into the Gatorade course, shooting in the corner. i just show you guys this right here just to show you, like, this is me putting on the jump shot and then coming to the Gatorade court for the first time, and I'm just trying to shot out. This is usually how I test the shot out before I take it to the park. I'll just come to the Gatorade court, shoot around, make sure I learn the cue for a second. But when I'm inside the mascot, you can't really learn a cue. So that's the downfall for me if I'm in the mascot. You can't really see the ball when you shoot. You really got to just – Get a feel for the jump shot. So that's all I'm doing here in the in the mascot is getting a feel for the shot in the get a red court. And then it's time to go to the park and try it out, man. Let's take this one last shot in the corner. It's time. All right, we're in the park with it. I'm going to show you guys me going crazy with this Darius Bailey jump shot. If you guys are looking for a jump shot, this is a good one. It's a good jump shot for you to try out. I know some of you guys still having trouble shooting. I don't know how because this game is not a hard game to shoot. I mean, it do it is a lot of different shot times. Look, I'm going up against a hybrid defender. We're going to see what he's going to be defending, okay? But, yeah, like I was saying, this game not really a hard game to shoot. Like, if you're wide open, it just when you're open and contesting and all that and when you're doing a catch-and-shoot animation, it do change sometimes when you're catching and shoot. But if you got the ball in your hand pretty much, shooting out the dribble and all that, this game is pretty easy. He he missed his first shot. I don't know who he thought he was shooting from back there. They reaching already. Already they're trying to take the ball from me. They don't know. I'm rocking the Hall of Fame unpluckable because everybody just be reaching like crazy. Everybody want the ball back. Now, he leave me wide open. It's a big mistake. Green. I don't know why he leave me wide open. Like, I'm not one of the best shooters on the game. I'm not the best. But. I'm one of the best shooters on the game. I can't lie. Look at me. I pulled a shot. It's green. See, right there, you see the coverage was open. You guys probably already know this, but this for the new people that are watching. When it's open, you got to basically release your shot faster. Right here, I messed up because it was open, and I tried to release it normal. Right here, I pulled a shot, and I'm wide open, so that's a normal shot. But you guys already know that. Normal shot when you're wide open, release it faster when you're open. So you guys, most of you guys already know that. I'm in takeover. I don't know why this dude leave me wide open. This dude jumping at me. I'm still going to get the shot off in this green, okay? 12 to 0 just like that. I don't know what to tell these guys. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you, but I got the jump shot on me. I'm not really going to do too much missing wide open, okay? 15 to 0. What am I right now? 5 for 6? Come on, man. It's too easy. This game is too easy. When you wide open to shoot, man. Not gonna lie to you guys. Let's see what they doing now. See Kenny. Okay. They they double team me. Okay, got the ball. It's all good, man. We get the ball right back. Look at them running out here trying to foul me. Look. Look, they doubling at this point. I ain't even passing the ball. I'm going for the fade and it's green. Okay. I'm not even passing the ball in this mascot. This mascot just make me feel too unguardable, too unstoppable. Why would I pass it? Okay. 18 to 0. I'm still in takeover. You know what time it is. Time to get the game over. Wait, what? Slightly late. That's on me. Hey, I will miss from time to time in the mascot. I can't even see my, see the ball when I shoot. I can't see. So, I really got to be locked in when I'm using this mascot. So, that's how I just missed that wide open shot if you're wondering, okay? Some of you guys probably be missing wide open <laughs> with no mascot. But that's Cash right there because he jumped at me and made it open. I released it faster. Hey. That was the first game play. Seven for nine, 21 point with that jump shot, man. This is a Darius Baszler jump shot. It is pretty good. I got one more game play to show you guys, and then we're going to get up out of here, man. 
One more game play. I believe I do go seven threes in his next game play as well, man. I just be going crazy in this mascot. The mascot is a little challenge for me because I can't see the ball when I shoot. I kind of like that. I kind of like not being able to see the ball and make the game harder for me. The game is so easy for me that I really need a challenge. So being in the mascot when I'm shooting, I like that. I can't see the ball, so I got to know my shot. Here we go. I pull it. Green, okay? That's how you know you're really locked in. If you can't see your shot, what do that mean? That means you got to shoot off instinct. I'm shooting off instinct right now. I'm not even shooting off a cue. I'm literally just shooting the ball off of instinct. So it basically just a feeling, man. When I feel like it's good, I let it go. I hop back, pull a shot, green. He stepped up a little bit, okay? So that's why I was open. I had to shoot it faster because he stepped up. I saw him coming up. So, you know, that's why I released it faster. He jumping right now. I don't know why he jumping, okay? Because I'm not even going for the three, going right to the paint for the easy dunk. When you do go dunk the ball with this mascot, it's very hard to get blocked because the mascot is so tall. Like I say, in this mascot, you're like seven foot something in this mascot. It's very hard to be stopped when you go to the paint. Shooting, shooting something you're just going to have to learn on your own, man. You're going to have to get a great jump shot. I go for the fade right here. Unfortunately, I missed it. It was slightly early. Like I said, I can't even see the ball when I shoot, so I really have to be locked in when I'm playing with this mascot. And, hey, if you get this mascot, you do got to be locked in when it comes to shooting. I ain't going to lie to you. you. If you can't see the ball, hey, you're going to have to do the best you can. You're really going to have to play with the jump shot and just get a feel for it, man. Get a feel for it in the Gatorade court first and then come to the park with it. What they doing? It's 8-2. to two. What is he doing? He trying to go up. I'm jumping at it. Teammate jumping at it. That's contested. Come on. Now. I get a lot of rebounds in this mascot, too. I don't even got a high rebounding on this build. But this mascot, it made me get the rebounds. Come on now. I hop back. He ain't there. King Green. Wait, what? <laughs> it's like, it's like, here it go. King Green. Come on, man. I'm used to making all my shots, man. I don't really do too much missing. And I know you guys know that. That watch me. I don't really miss a lot, man. 11 to 2. I don't really miss a lot. I'm telling you, man. It, it ain't too many shots I'm missing wide open or open or. I just don't miss a lot. I pull this from D King Green. What I tell you, man? Ain't too many shots I'm missing. Fourteen to two. What am I? I think I'm four for six for the three point line. I ain't done yet, man. I ain't done yet. I'm gonna get you guys a couple of fades in here real quick so you can see the shot is good when you're going for the fade as well. So here we go. I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, size them up real quick. You know what I'm saying? And then you know what time it's time to go for the fade over here. And it's King Green. Come on, man. One thing about fading to the left side, try to get right there by that little elbow area. It will give you like that good animation that you just seen me basically go inside when I shot the ball. So when you are running left, if you are right-handed and you're running left, try to get all the way over there towards that little where the corner and the like the hash meet. Try to go over there, man. It'll give you like a good animation. Here we go. I fade to this side and I go over here and it's King Green. All right. When you fade into the right, it don't really matter because I'm, that's, I'm right-handed. That's the ball dumb in the hand. It don't really matter where you at on the right side but on the left yeah try to get over there all the way to that little elbow spot i call it like a little sweet spot man give you like a perfect animation i'm gonna show you guys here again okay try to get right here then pull the shot king green that's all she wrote man that's seven for nine i believe this gameplay right here man if you enjoyed what you just saw okay i was going crazy with this there's basically jump shot leave a like on the video more videos on the way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. The King out, man.